run. I'm going to do a quick video um, opening up a package that I think has a secondhand doll outfit in it. It's something I bought off of one of the Facebook groups. And I'm going to use Fuji here to model it. She is in the tiger bikini from Smart Doll. And I'm going to change her out of that and into this lovely little secondhand outfit that I have. I still have a plan to do a photo shoot with this um, orange tiger bikini. I have a really good idea for it, and I think it'll be fun. Um, I did have fun doing the little, like, backyard tiger no mo may photos. That was that was fun with uh, Fuji and Fiji as orange and white tigers. Um, but now I'm going to switch her out. I'm going to pop her head off here, and um try an outfit that i got secondhand from another um doll owner that was my dog just barking if you heard him <laughs> he's wanting to be set free from his little doggy corner all right let's see if i can slip this up over the arms and such Usually most smart dog clothes are fairly stretchable, but the bikinis actually, I think, benefit from um, probably, oh my gosh, they do stretch. It's just some of them used to have uh, ties at the back and some of them are like the solid bit of fabric like that. So it's a little bit harder to stretch the ones that are the solid fabric instead of a tie, but they still stretch. As you can see, I didn't have to take the arms off. All right, so uh, my secondhand seller person is Alex, and they are all the way from Canada. Well, I shouldn't say all the way. That's fairly close in comparison to some of the things that I've been purchasing lately, um, secondhand and whatnot. But I do think this is... A full outfit. I can just get it open. Maybe. Ow. Safety first, people. Don't stab yourself with scissors. Alright. Inside. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you guys, this isn't even a doll outfit. These are pins. Um, I do have a doll outfit. I do. <laughs> um, I'll just show you. Why not? I mean, we're already here, right? I think this is, oh yes, this is a Chobits pin that I have been wanting forever. Um, I'm going to have to write my pin seller and tell him I got this. It's a Mammalbot Chobits pin. Look at that. It's Chi and Freya. I know it's not focusing very well, but it's huge and it has... Four pin backs. Sorry, smart doll fans. That is not a doll outfit. Um, maybe this is. Okay, this definitely is. This is not the outfit that I was thinking I was opening, though. So, look at this cute outfit. Or this cute envelope. Isn't that pretty? Um, this is from Sugar Shambles on Etsy. They're also from Canada. Canada's very close to me in the U.S. and so I like shopping from Canadian artists because their shipping fees are relatively inexpensive and their stuff also gets here pretty quickly. So um, Sugar Shambles I feel like I may have purchased from once in the past at some point um, but they had a recent sale and I liked their stuff. Look at this. So cute. There's little, like, bear tape. Oh, and there's um, a Mulan sticker. You know, I'll be peeling that off and putting it in my sticker album. All right, let's see. So, anyway, Sugar Shambles had a sale recently, um, and I got two pieces from them. Um, they're not necessarily meant to go together. Uh but they're really adorable. I was thinking more along the lines of it. So it's like a top and a skirt. The skirt is like night sky with clouds. It's really cute. 
And then the top is um, like that classic, uh, well, not classic. It's like ocean waves and clouds. And then on the back, it continues kind of that night sky look. So I guess these could technically go together. Kind of looks like an outfit. Um, but I was thinking more along the lines of giving them different, uh, like somebody getting the top with like jeans and then the skirt going with like a tank top or something like that. Um, so this is not the outfit that I was thinking I was going to open, but thank you for watching me open that pin. That was not anything to do with dolls. We'll just try this little Sugar Shambles outfit on her. I'm sure it's going to be adorable. And really, the whole Etsy store was just full of super cute stuff. Her thumb is getting cut and not wanting to cooperate. I don't know how many of you out there have milk dolls, but I have found... I got all my milk dolls secondhand. I know I've said it any number of times, but... Um, I got into the smart doll world just on the cusp of um, milk skin tone um, being discontinued. So I didn't buy any um, brand new directly from the smart doll site. Um, but I did get a number of them secondhand. In the last couple of years i know now and checking back through my smart doll history um i got my first smart doll not in 2022 or 2021 but christmas of 2020 so it's been about two and a half years that i've been into smart dolls um and anyway i've i've brought home plenty of milk girls but they were all second or they were all secondhand, um, and my point of telling you that whole story is that um, I have found that the milk dolls, because they were all on the older frame, even like some of them I think are prior to Gen, the Gen 2 frame, which was the one just previous to the current Evolve frame, um, and their hands are like harder resin. They're not as soft as the current hands, so it's just, it's harder to manipulate the milk dolls, in my opinion. Um, maybe that'll be different. Um, I know there was some Gen 2 milk frames that were released when they were clearing out all the Gen 2 stuff. Maybe that makes them easier to move around and stuff. Oh my gosh, Fuji, you're adorable. This is such a cute outfit. Actually, it does look really good as an outfit. Look at that. Isn't that adorable? Really nice fit. The closure is um, Velcro on both, and on the top, it almost is just the slightest bit too small. And I don't know if that's because of this milk body. Like, do the milk bodies have a slightly different? Because this is the standard bust. Um, it, is the mold slightly different now? I don't think so. I don't think they changed the vinyl um, at all. Um, <laughs> this is so cute. All right, so at any rate, if it's if it's really nicely, the both both pieces are really nice. Um, just the top, I don't know. I could probably manipulate it a little bit to close just a little bit better. Um, it doesn't just because of the high waist of the skirt. Um, you're not going to get an opening for the stand there, but you could probably. I don't know. Well, you'd have to like open up the skirt all the way to get to that. Uh, I was thinking maybe you could just pop open a small portion of the velcro but it's too close to the top too. You just have to open up the whole thing. At any rate, it fits really nicely. It's really cute. I really like this. I would like to see these two pieces separate like I had in my mind to do. Um, I think this would go really cute with jeans and then, um, or really any top or any pair of pants that really anything. I think this is such a cute thing. And then the skirt, I just, I liked it and I thought it looked good on a blue doll. I don't know. Blues on blues look good to me. So, Anyway, here is Sugar Samples on Etsy. Um, and then I just wanted to mention, because um, I'm going to a doll event soon. It is Puddle. It's in Arlington Heights in Illinois. I think their online um, ticket sales are ending very soon in the next few days. I am not going to <laughs> toot my own horn or anything, 
but I am hosting a um, smart doll workshop um, with Kit and Cat. Um, I haven't actually met them in person, but I've been messaging them and they're going to do their magnetic jewelry set for the people that are going to be in that panel. And I'm kind of just doing like a, a brief history of smart doll and then kind of like a show and tell panel, like just talking about how I got into smart doll and my um, interest into it and hopefully um, encouraging people in the panel to share their smart doll stories too or for people that don't have smart dolls that are there um, just having them ask, ask any questions and answer get hands-on with the dolls and see them but I also wanted to show this because I'm you know flapping this little postcard around so Puddle is on June 10th which is a Saturday they usually do um, a night before uh, kind of event thing too which I can't go to. I'm actually going to a concert the night before and I'm supposed to go to a concert that night too, which I might still, I don't know how it's all going to work out. We'll see. Um, but the day after Sunday, June 11th, there is actually a, another doll show. It's just like a, it's non ball jointed doll specific. It's not really anything to do with smart dolls. It's just a doll show in general. Um, and it is the Naperville doll and Teddy show, which is, um, fairly close to Arlington Heights if you're going to Puddle and you're staying at the hotel there. Um, it's probably about a 20 minute drive from there, but this is the information and I'll give a link to both um, this show and Puddle as well as um, Sugar Shambles on Etsy from this fabulous outfit. So thanks for watching this quick little video and let me know if you're going to Puddle or if you're going to the Naperville Doll and Teddy show. I will be there. And I will inevitably, inevitably, most likely have a smart thought with me. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Have a great weekend.